Hey YouTube, Nick and Carrie here, welcoming you to another weekly gaming recap. Bringing you all your gaming highlights for the week of November 2nd, 2012. The main character in Hotline Miami dishes out brutal justice. The developer, however, just wants everyone to play their game, and if they like it, buy it. Why? So they can make more games. You hear that from most developers, but Denaton Games did just that, heading over to the Pirate Bay and asking the pirates to please update the game so everyone can see just what a badass game Hotline Miami is. On top of that, they even replied with some helpful workarounds to those having problems. If that doesn't make you want to slide on one of those frightful masks in Hotline Miami, nothing will. Rock Paper Shotgun brings you part two of their Chris Roberts interview. They talk all manner of geeky video game things related to Robert's Star Citizen crowdfunded space sim, like heads up displays, control options, player interactions, running your own server, and basically getting back to that place in PC gaming where he's trying to push technology and games as far forward as we can with what we have today. Be sure to give it a read. Were you sad when Portal 2 ended? Well fear not little test subjects, as now there are even more stories for you to play with in the universe that is Aperture Science. Designed for Danger is one such set of stories that takes you back to the lab, and have you forge a new path using science at every turn. Starbound is looking awesome. It lets players dig, build, and fight, much like the game Terraria. It even lets you build anti-ape layers. Check out the new building demo now, and tell the game's developer Chucklefish to hurry up so we can play already! Evil Controllers wants to make a lithium-ion powered Xbox 360 controller mod, but it needs our help. They have started a Kickstarter project with a funding goal of $15,000 to make this gamepad happen. The modded controller will have an expected battery life of 10 hours of non-stop use and will be rechargeable via a USB cable. Grand Theft Auto is back for its fifth installment. Take-Two Interactive has announced that the new title won't be available until the spring of 2013. Get your pre-orders now for PS3 and Xbox 360, with no word yet on any release date for the PC. Speaking of Take-Two Interactive, they announced that both Gearbox Software's Borderlands 2 and XCOM Enemy Unknown have had strong digital sales so far. Borderlands 2 alone has shipped over 5 million units to date, and with the GTA 5 release coming out in the spring of 2013, they are ready to gain even more revenue growth for their new fiscal year. The Massachusetts Institute of Technology wants you to get antiquated with the speed of light, and have created a free open source game called A Slower Speed of Light, where you pick up orbs to gradually slow down light to help you solve the mysteries within. Head on over and get your geek on. The Longest Journey started way back in 1999, and the third entry in the series, Dreamfall Chapters, is finally entering production. I guess it really was a long journey after all. Fans of the series should be delighted, as like 1981's Halloween 2, Chapters will pick up right where Dreamfall left off. The PlayStation Store has gotten a fancy new facelift, which has finally gone live in the US, Canada, Mexico, and Brazil. Originally scheduled for October 23rd, the new look was delayed due to technical issues. The new store features a greater number of filters, charts, a redesigned search engine, and video streaming directly on item pages. 343 Studios is stepping up with the band hammer, as they announced that sexist players will be permabanned for life from not only Halo 4, but also the Xbox Live Network. So when you hop online next time with your buddies, you might want to think before you speak. Popular classic RPG Chrono Trigger is now available for the Android. Square Enix has previously released the game on the Nintendo DS, Virtual Console, PSN, iOS, and other mobile phones. The mobile version of the game is priced at $9.99 for both the Android and iOS phones. If you've never played before, now is a great time to check it out. If you love the Call of the Penguin, know that Valve has opened its application process to test the Linux Steam client. And if you're one of the chosen few, you'll even get a free Valve game out of it. Though, if we had to guess, we'll probably say you already have all the Valve games that are testable. 
This week's top story with 57 likes is Disney acquires Lucasfilm for $4.05 billion, LucasArts included. That's right. For those people who have been living under a rock for the past few days, Disney announced its purchase of the Lucasfilm Limited Corporation for just over $4 billion. The people who brought us Star Wars, Indiana Jones, and the Maniac Mansion franchises are all in the mouse house. Disney also announced that the seventh Star Wars movie is coming with a release date sometime in 2015. The bonus story of this week sent the internet into a tizzy. It started out with this picture of Jeff Kiley, ended with Eurogamer having to edit its story from Rab Florence about games journalism, because Lauren Wainwright seems to think it's better to apparently threaten a website, make inaccurate statements, and then go into hiding, instead of, you know, owning up to what you said and explaining yourself? Oh, and just for the record, a hashtag is the equivalent of an advertisement. As a video game player, when you have at least an hour, definitely give this article and the many, many pages, tweets, and discussions spawn from it a read. It is eye-opening. For more information on any story we covered, check the links in the description below. Check us out on our website at www.weeklygamingrecap.com Follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash wgamingrecap and subscribe to us here on YouTube. Until, Until next, next time, time, see you later! later.